fellow green thumbs. Welcome back to my channel. Fig has been outside over the course of the summer. It's getting cooler here in the evenings and I'm afraid that she'll get too cold if I let her out much longer. So today I'm going to repot her, give her a good cleaning, check for any pests, and get her back inside the house. I don't want to run any risks of bringing any pests or spiders into the house, so I'm going to use some paper towels and some good old-fashioned water and wipe down each leaf. I'm going to check for any signs of pests and any spiders that may be nesting inside of her. So I'm satisfied with how clean I got her leaves. I didn't find any bugs, just a couple spider webs that I was able to brush off with the dampened paper towel. So now we're ready to start getting her potted up. I have another piece of window screen that I have, and I have this large outdoor pot that we're going to put her in. Not ideal, but it's what I have on hand. I'd prefer to have a plastic pot because it would be easier to move her around. So first we'll throw the screen to cover the large drainage hole in the bottom. And we'll start dumping in our potting mix. This again is just what I have on hand. I would prefer to use the ocean floor, but I don't have much left, so we'll use this bag. And then I also have some perlite, some earthworm castings, and a little bit of orchid bark. Um, I did some research on what type of soil they prefer, and it seems to be kind of all over the place. So we're just going to give it a nice airy soil to make sure that the roots continue to grow and that the roots can breathe. I'll start by adding a little bit of each. So I'm just going to dump some in. Bad. We're not too badly root bound. We'll try to knock as much of the soil off as we can without harming the plant. The more soil we can get off of here, the better chances we have of not bringing pests into our house. So I was able to get a good bit of this old soil off and expose her root system. It was pretty gentle. I was just kept massaging and breaking up the soil as I went along. This will also help to encourage new growth within the new soil as well as get the nutrients in the new soil up into the plant and into the system. So let's get it in our pot.
pot it up. Let's take her inside, find a place for her new home, and then we'll get her a good drink of water. So I chose this location in my front living room. It's a west facing window and it's a pretty brightly lit room. She should be happy here. We will continue to watch for any signs of stress, especially due to the repotting and relocating. Fiddle leaf are notorious for losing their leaves when they experience any sort of stress. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and be sure that you like and subscribe.